Are you guys still having issues making candy apple bows? Well, I'm going to show you today what you're probably doing wrong. I had a subscriber that reached out to me and told me that she was messing up on the knot part. If you're still messing up on your bows or your bow is unraveling, you want to watch this tutorial all the way till the end. Okay, so it's been requested that I do another bow tutorial. Um, I have a YouTube subscriber um, that's having a hard time and a couple of more that's having a hard time getting these bows. Um, something stuck out to me. She said that when she makes her bows, um, they unravel when she tries to do the knot. So I am going to do bows today. So you want to cut out 20 to 22 inches. And I'm going to use this as my guide. To cut my ribbon. To cut my strips. So I am using this as my guide to cut my strips. So they all can be pretty much even. So you should be able to get six bows out of this spool of ribbon. This is Michael's brand, celebrate it. So this is one and a half inches times four yards. This is Michael's brand, celebrate it. Okay. Okay, so grab the ribbon to have enough tail to hang on to with your thumb. So you're going to use your thumb and just hold the ribbon. You're really not doing anything but using your index and your middle finger. So you're just using your index and your middle finger and your thumb just to hold the ribbon, okay? So when you go around your two fingers, you're going to come back up in between the two. And then you're going to go around your index finger only. So when you go around your index finger, your ribbon should be behind your middle finger. Then you're going to take this ribbon and you're going to tuck in between the two down at the V section in between your index and your middle finger. So what I am doing right now is just pushing the ribbon through. Until it reaches the other side. So now I am going to pull the ribbon out okay and I am going to flat this part over to form my bow that's forming the bow so you're going to turn your hand over when you turn your hand over there's a flap on the right bottom side you're going to tuck this extra ribbon underneath the flap, not over, but underneath. So when the person was saying they were having a hard time at the knot, I am assuming right here 
because this is where you make your knot. So you pull it up and then you have to pull down, but you may need to hold on to it, pull up, pull down, because you said at the knot, it was unraveling. So you pull up and pull down. You may have to push on the knot. So pull up as tight as you can, hold the knot right here in the middle with your thumb and pull down. Just keep tugging at it until it's tight. So I'm assuming this is where you're having your issue. So I'm going to go ahead and do five more. Because that spool makes six bows that size. Now you can buy a longer ribbon. So here's my bow. I need to fluff it out but I am going to cut my tails. So I am going to cut my tails. And then you burn the tips so your bow doesn't unravel. So you take your lighter and you burn your tips. The tips you just cut. So you just want to tap it one time. After your tips are burnt, you can pretty much just squeeze your tips. Okay, so now I am going to just fluff out my bow. So you just fluff out your bow. And this is what the bow looks like. Now you can add some bling if you so desire. I think bling makes the bows pop out. So you can buy a strip of bling at any fabric store or craft store. This is the back. This is the front. So you take your scissors and you cut two, two rows. I'm going to lay this right here. And you're going to put hot glue on the back and attach it to the bow. Like this. You could just put glue on the top and the bottom tip. Now you guys know I do not like working with these glue guns because I hate when the glue gets sticky and stringy on my hands. So what I'm going to do is take my scissors and push down to avoid the glue on my fingertips. And here's a cute blinged out bow. These are so cute. So if you want to 
do your black bows and add some jazz to it. Always add jazz and dazzle with the little bling. So on to our second bow. I cut this at 20 inches. If you are new, go ahead and cut it at 22 to 24 to give you room to practice, okay? So hold your ribbon. You're going to go around the two fingers. You're going to come up in between the two. I'm not doing anything right here. I'm just straightening out the ribbon. Go around your index finger and bring it around your middle finger. So when you bring it around your index finger, your ribbon should be right behind your middle finger anyways. So you take the extra ribbon, which is right here, and you tuck it in between the two. Your index and your middle finger right down here at the bottom of the V section. So I am just tucking this in between the two fingers until the ribbon reaches on the other side. You may have to go in it and get it out, okay? I'm just straightening out my ribbon. Okay, so once you take your ribbon out, you just flap it over to form your bow. I'm just straightening out my bow here. It's kind of loose. Okay, so you take this flap and you want to make sure this middle section is straightened out because this is forming your bow. You flap it over and then you take this ribbon and you tuck it underneath this flap that sits on the right side. You go under the flap, not over the flap. You go under the flap. So this part right here forms the knot. So you pull this up, hold on to it, and pull it down. Okay, so once said right here, this is where their bow is unraveling. So make sure you pull it up, pull down. You may have to hold on to the knot. So pull up, pull down, up, down. You may have to tug at it. You may have to push the knot up some. So push up, pull down, pull up, pull down. I like to do that like two or three times anyways to make sure that knot is going to be tight and not unravel once I take it off my fingertips. And my fingers are a little chubby and fat, so it's kind of tight here. Ooh, can't get it off, okay. So here's my bow, and you can fluff it out now or you can wait until you, um, you can fluff it out now, or you can wait until you cut your tails. So I'm gonna cut my tails. And your knot may be unraveling because you're cutting your tail too short. You want to make sure you have enough to burn the tips. Leave enough ribbon to burn the tips. Because if you cut too short, you can't burn your tips. 
and the bow will unravel. So, two issues. You're not tugging or pulling hard enough or you're cutting your tips too short and you don't have enough to burn and then your bow unravels. So make sure you have enough tip to burn to prevent your bow from unraveling. And you just squeeze them. Be careful because that's hot. So right now I am just fluffing out my bow. And there's your bow. I'm fluffing out my bow here. So your bow can unravel if you cut your tips too short because you need enough tip to burn so that your bow doesn't unravel. So here's the comparison between the two with the bling and without the bling. They're both cute. So that's with the bling and without the bling. I don't know. I just like that bling for some reason. Okay. So you hold your tail. You go around your two fingers. You go up in between the two. You come around your index finger. When you come around your index finger, this ribbon should be hanging behind your middle finger. You're going to take this ribbon and you're going to go in between the two fingers. Okay, you're going to tuck this. I'm just tucking all of this ribbon in between the index and the middle finger until it reaches on this side. You may have to just Pull it out, okay? I'm just straighten up my bow. So you take this flap that you just pulled out and you go around. You wanna make sure it's straightened out because this is forming your bow. So once you go around, you're going to tuck this extra ribbon right up underneath the flap. Not over the flap, but underneath it. This is your knot. Pull up. You should feel a snag or something. Pull up. You should feel it tighten. So when you pull up, you should feel it tighten, then pull down to secure. You can do this a couple of times by holding on to the knot as you pull down, pull up, pull down. You may have to push it up some, you know, just tug at it. And the second issue, why your bow may unravel is you're not either burning your tips when you cut them or you're cutting them too close.
when I say cutting them too close, you're probably cutting them too close to the knot where you really can't burn the tips. So you want to make sure you have a little tip left to burn the tips. See how I have tip left right here where I can burn that tip. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the other tip. I am just going to leave enough to burn a tip because if I cut too close, this will unravel. Okay, so you just burn your tips or you can take your fingers and pinch it just to shut it. Okay, I'm going to fluff out my bow here. This is with the bling, this is without the bling, and this is without the bling. So it's like really up to you how you want to make your bows. So this is without the bling and with the bling. I don't know, this just pops out more, you know, if you want to get jazzy and dazzle, you can use your bling. But if you need it to be, you know, this is elegant and these are also elegant. You can take your, you know, your bling stick and hot glue this to the bling stick or your candy apple stick or your treat stick. That may be too much bling. So in that case, I would do it like that. I would hot, so all you have to do is put hot glue on the back of the bow and attach it to your bling stick. And it's blinging. You wanna attach it far up so you have enough room to put your treat or your candy apple. So we're going to go ahead and work on the fourth bow. I have my ribbon. And I'm gonna go really slow. So I can show you what will happen if you cut your ribbon too close to the knot. I'm gonna show you what can happen. So this is probably what's happening. Either you're not pulling your ribbon tight enough or you're cutting your um, ribbon too close to the knot. So you just take your ribbon, make sure you have enough tail on the end to grab onto, and go around the two fingers. Go up in between the two. You're going to take the ribbon and go around the index finger once.
and when you go around the index finger, that ribbon should be hanging behind your middle finger. Okay, some people say they want to see all angles. So this is all angles. So make sure this ribbon is hanging down. Let me straighten this ribbon out. This doesn't mean anything. It's sliding off my fingers. Okay, so you take this ribbon. You're going to tuck in between your index and your middle finger. You're just going to push them or push it. You're going to push this ribbon through through your index and your middle finger. You're just pushing it through until it reaches the other side. You're going to pull that out. You form your bow by going around. Okay? You have a flap right here. So you're going to go underneath the flap. That flap right there that sits on the bottom right side, you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to go underneath the flap. You're not going to go over the flap. You're going to go underneath. So right here at this knot, you pull up and then you pull down. You may want to tug it a couple of times. Okay, and there's your bow. So let me show you what can happen if you cut your bow. Oh, I can't get this off my fat fingers. It's stuck. Okay, so let me show you what can happen if you cut, you know, too close. Okay, so if you cut too close, I'm gonna show you. If you cut too close to the knot, you don't really have anything to burn. And before you finish your bow, I'm going to cut very close to the knot here. So you're probably cutting too close to the knot. So when you're cutting too close to the knot, my bow is already unraveling. It's unraveling. So that's why you don't want to cut too close to the knot. Now this is going to probably be too short to make, but I can try. Yeah, this is gonna to be too short to make. Yeah, that's going to be too short. So don't cut your ribbon too close to the knot. So two issues you're probably doing um, wrong. That's either when you're coming up, pulling on your ribbon and pulling down to secure it, you're not tugging at it tight enough. Or I'm thinking maybe you're cutting your ribbon too close to the knot. I think you're probably cutting your ribbon too close to the knot if it's unraveling. And it could be that you're not securing your knot. So let's do another one because this one is too short to make a bow. So 
with the um, ribbon, you want to make sure you have enough tail. You're going to go around your two fingers. You're going to go up in between the two. Okay. So you're going to have enough tail hanging down. You want to make sure you have enough tail hanging down to hold on to. You're going to go around your two fingers. You're going to go up in between where your ribbon is up here. Then you're going to go around your index finger only. So once you go around your index finger, you should have ribbon hanging down behind your middle finger. And then you're going to tuck the ribbon in between the two right at the bottom of the V section. And that's what I'm doing right now. I am taking all of this ribbon and I am tucking it in between the V until it reaches on the other side. And you just pull it. Okay, I'm just straightening out my ribbon here. It's falling off my fingers. So you pull it out, you take your flap, and you go around to form your bow. So you want to make sure this part is pretty much straightened out. Because now you're forming your bow. You want to take this ribbon and go underneath the flap that sits on the bottom right side. You take this, you pull up. See how that tightens up? Hold it with your thumb, pull down, pull up, pull down. So right here, you need to pull up and then pull down. Pull up, pull down. Okay? And there's your bow. So it shouldn't be coming loose right here if you're doing it tight enough. Pull up, pull down. Okay. Okay. Right here, you want to make sure you cut the tail, but not too short. You don't want it short at the knot. You want to make sure you have enough tail to burn the tip because if you don't have enough tail to burn the tip then it's going to unravel even in the event that I do cut this right but I don't burn it it still will unravel so you also so that could be another reason so it could be three reasons you're not burning your tips you must burn your tips that's a must so three reasons you're not pulling up tight enough you're cutting too close to the knot or you're simply not burning your tips and you must burn your tips so your bow doesn't unravel and now I am going to fluff my bow. You know, you know, you know. And here's my bow. So this is a bow without the bling and here's a bow with the bling. I think they're both cute.
It's just your preference. Okay, and the sixth bow. So you just hold on to your ribbon. You make sure you have enough tail hanging down. You go around the two fingers. You come back up in between your two fingers. Okay, your ribbon should be right here. Then you go around your index finger only. And your ribbon should be hanging behind your middle finger. Then you're going to tuck this ribbon in between your index and your middle finger at the bottom of that V section and bring it out. Okay, the ribbon is sliding off my hands. So once you bring it out, you're just going to flap this over to form your bow. You're going to take this ribbon and you're going to tuck underneath the flap that sits on the right side. You're not going to tuck over it sideways. You're going to go under it and then you're going to pull up and you're going to pull down. Okay, pull up pull down. I do this about three or four times myself just to make sure that knot is how it's supposed to be. Okay. Now, you're going to cut your tail, not too close to the knot, but short enough so you won't be able to see it from this side. Cut your tip short but long enough to burn the tips. See your tips? You want to burn your tips. And then you want to just, you know, squeeze it. Okay, so now we have all of our bows that we've made, okay? We have five bows right here because remember the sixth bow we, um, you know, we didn't do um, because I was showing you what could happen if you cut your ribbon too short to the knot. So we have five bows, cute little bows. And let's see, if you wanna add bling, 
you take your bling, you cut two strips or two rows, and you hot glue the tip at the top and the bottom. That's the best way to do it so you don't have glue everywhere. So I'm just going to hot glue the top and the bottom. And you just I didn't put enough glue right here. I can use my scissors to prevent all that glue on my fingers. And here's your cute little bow. And I still got glue. Honey cha, honey cha. Honey cha, honey cha. Got glue everywhere. Let's make sure I have enough glue right here. So however you feel comfortable, so whatever way you feel comfortable doing this with scissors or whatever, you know, let that be your way. And a cha, and a cha. So here's the bows with the bling, and then here's the bows without. Without the bling and with the bling. All right, I'm done. You guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends and pop-up videos during the week.